What is up YouTube? I am Eric and you are watching Retro Video Game Pickups. In this video we are talking about Nintendo Switch related accessories that you should put on your Christmas list. So if you like games, consoles, or product reviews, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification. With that being said, let's hop into it. Okay, so as you guys can tell by the thumbnail on the title of this video, we are talking about Nintendo Switch accessories that you should pick up for Christmas. Put this on your Christmas list because you are going to want this if you get a Nintendo Switch for Christmas or if you already have one and don't have these accessories. Now as you guys can probably tell, I'm a little sick, I have been stopped up and everything, but I'm feeling good now, but my voice sounds jacked up. So don't worry about me, I'm doing good and getting better day by day. But, like I said, there are a ton of things over here that I want you guys to pick up for the Nintendo Switch that you need because honestly, it will make your Switch way better if you have these things. Now the first thing we're going to talk about is that both of these, uh, for the most part, will work with the Nintendo Switch and the Nintendo Switch Lite. And I'll specify some things that are different when I talk about them if they're just for the Switch Lite or just for the Switch, whatever. So the first thing I'm gonna say is a screen protector. I have these screen protectors and I've been using these for a while. This brand, this AM Film has done wonders for all my cell phones, my tablets, my switches, everything like that. If it has a screen and it's portable, I'm gonna put one of these AM Films on it. Now this one is for my Nintendo Switch Lite, but I've also bought them for the Nintendo Switch, and these things are great. Now this one, I believe it was a three pack, so it was $9.99 or $8.99 for three of these screen protectors, which means if I break one or scratch it, I just peel it off and put a new one on, and I'm not out any more money. So that is why I love these AM Film screen protectors. They work wonders. They make your Switch look so much better. They do make it a little thicker if you're trying to slide it in that dock, but I think it's well worth it because it keeps your screen from actually getting scratched as well when you're docking it, if you dock it wrong, of course. But like I said, this is the one thing, one thing I think you must have if you have a Nintendo Switch. All the rest is a, a really good thing to have, and maybe the cases that I'm talking about later are must-haves as well, but not everything is a must-have. This definitely is a must have. You've got to keep your Nintendo Switch completely taken care of. It comes with stickers for dust removal, it comes with a cleaner, it comes with pads, it comes with all the screen protectors and instructions and everything you need to know. Like I'm going to tell you in the rest of this video, everything to what I'm going to talk about here is down below in the description, links if you are interested. Now the next thing I'm going to say is a case. And here I have a actual Nintendo Switch case. I love this thing. I have two of these actually. And I have a third one for my Nintendo Switch Lite. But I'm talking about my Nintendo Switch for this one. This is the case that I love. It's very simple. It is completely black. It's got that Nintendo Switch case on it. And I want to say this was $19.99, which is a steal of a deal. Like I said, links down below if you want any of this stuff to pick it up. Now, the awesome thing is, not only does this protect your Switch, it's got a few different things in it. It's got a pouch here that unzips. I like to keep a power cord in there, and maybe some extra games, depending on which Switch case it is. And then, down below, it flips up, and then you have these two uh, cases that have SD card uh, cases in them as well and then slots for four games each. And honestly, this thing is awesome. You put your switch here and you close it down, you Velcro it, you put the cover up, you zip it up, and this thing will keep your switch protected. If you drop it on the floor and you're like, oh no, you're gonna pull that switch out and it is definitely gonna be clean. So I think you necessarily will need to get one of these because it will protect your switch. And the next thing I'm gonna talk about as well as a screen as a case for your switch as well and that is the hori um, dora flexi protector now i've talked about this a little bit on the channel before this is an awesome thing now basically what that is is just a clear case like you can see this is for the nintendo switch Lite. they make them for the original switch 
but I don't have one for that. I just have one for my Nintendo Switch Lite because that's the one that I mainly uh, take on the go nowadays because, I mean, why else would I have it? But, like I said, this thing is really awesome. It is clear. It keeps your Switch protected. If you drop it on a corner, it's going to have that rubber silicone uh, and it's going to make your uh, Switch protected as well. The awesome thing about this is that it is clear, which means you can see that beautiful um, switch underneath it, that switch light that you have. I have the blue one and man does this make thing make it pop. So I think you definitely, definitely, definitely have to pick this up. Also, like I keep saying, links are down in the description for that. Next we're going to talk about a wired controller. And this is the uh, Power A Mario wired controller. Now I don't have the, the cord hooked up to it right now, it's on the floor. but. This is a really cheap alternative to the Pro Controller. If you want it to spend like 20 bucks, this is definitely the way to go. And this one has Mario on it, as you guys can tell. Mario's down there. It's got all these kind of Mario themes, like coins and bananas and all kinds of stuff like that. What it has is it has the D-pad here. It has two uh, joysticks. The joysticks are bigger than what you would expect from the Nintendo Switch or the Pro Controller, so be aware of that. If you don't like thick sticks, this is something you will want to avoid, but it's got the A, the A, B, X, Y button, it's got the home, the capture, the plus, the minus, the R and the L, and the Z, R, and the Z, L, and honestly, this is a nice little wired controller. I keep this around for second, third, and fourth players. Whenever I don't have my wireless controllers, I plug this in, they get the same feel with the joysticks being a little big. Some people like that if their hands are bigger. It works well with them and this is a very cheap one. Like I said, this is what the box looks like. It's a pretty cool little uh, controller if you're looking for a wired controller. Now that we're talking about a wired controller, let's go ahead and move up and spend a little bit more money on a wireless controller. And this is yet again another Power A controller. Power A makes probably the best third-party controllers uh, that I found for the Nintendo Switch and honestly that's because I love them. Now you guys probably have watched this. I have two or three of these wired control or wireless controllers um, and this is the Mario one that we're talking about here that I'm showing off. It's a very awesome thing to have. It's got the joysticks like I said. These joysticks are more like the actual Pro Controller than the one before this because that one was just huge these are more comfortable it's got the d-pad again your a b your x y the home the capture the plus and minus you got your r and your l your z r and your z l and then on the back if you notice there are three different buttons you've got the button that starts the programmable mode and then you have the a g r and the a g l button which i think is the a grip r grip right and a grip uh, left which means if you press this button on the back here, then you press, say, the A button, and you press the button on the back here, that will then work as your A button, which is a very awesome thing. If you don't want to be pressing all these buttons, you can hit, hit that button on the back, and you won't have to move your controller. So maybe you're moving this, and you're hitting the back. You can keep your, your hands wherever you want to, and you don't have to move back and forth. I absolutely love these controllers. If you guys have watched me play uh, like a live stream or whatever, I'm usually using one of these. Um, and also the best thing I think about this is that it is a battery powered with actual double A's. I have double A's that are rechargeable. I've talked about this on the channel. Rechargeable batteries are the best. I will put those actually uh, down below as well if you guys don't have those. Uh, you definitely need some. Those are kind of a bonus uh, tip here, is get rechargeable batteries for Amazon. That way when you get something like this, you can take those batteries, plop them in, play till they go dead, take them out, recharge them, and you're just well off. So that is an awesome controller that I found uh, that I love. Uh, Power A makes some great things, and I wanted to talk about that. So let me pick up this case and then we will talk about kind of all these things and run down with them. Okay, so here we are. We've talked about five things. We've got that wireless controller that we just talked about from Power A. We've got that Power A wire wired controller, which is a very cheap pickup. 
you've got that screen protector that I've talked to you guys about. You definitely must have a screen protector on your Switch. And then we've got that clear, uh, hoary Nintendo Switch case. And then we've got the big boy Nintendo Switch protective case that you definitely need. Now all of these things are things for you if you have a Nintendo Switch or a Nintendo Switch Lite. I will put description uh, links in the description to all of these things that I just talked about. Christmas is next week and I wanted to let you guys know what I would pick up if I was looking for Nintendo Switch accessories. These are five things that are absolutely pretty cheap. I think the most expensive thing was that wireless controller from Power A and I think they're like 30 to 40 bucks. They're really not bad. So if you guys are looking for something for your Nintendo Switch but you don't want to spend a lot or you really don't have a big budget for Christmas, I think this video shows you what you should pick up. So if you like this video, comment down below and let me know what you have and what you want from this list. Also, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification because it lets you know when I post more videos. I post more videos every Tuesday, every Thursday, and every Saturday. And occasionally I will post one on Monday depending on how the week is, if I'm busy or whatnot. But one last time, thank you so much for watching and make sure you have a good day.